I'm Ryan Burleson with First and Frack Paranormal. We're at the Lincoln Cultural Center, and I am alone in the sound room in the auditorium. There's been a lot of stories of, of papers being nudged off the ledge up here, voices being heard, uh, the equipment malfunctioning, and we've never investigated up here, so I thought I would come up here and investigate a little bit. There's something ticking in the back of the room. We have a REM pod right here in this chair. It's a red light. It won't hurt you. Feel free to touch it at any point in time. We have a recorder sitting right here if you'd like to speak to me and I can't hear you. And then over on the <coughs> over on the corner there of the desk is a flashlight. All you have to do is get near it and turn it on. It'll let me know that you're up here with me. I really want to know if there's something paranormal in this building. The team and I have witnessed a lot of things that we cannot explain. But we've, we've yet to catch that definite proof. Can you provide us that definite proof? That the paranormal exists or doesn't? Is that the intention and goal of the spirit is to stay hidden and only to show up so often accidentally? Does something have to be said correctly? Does the right question have to be asked? Does the right statement have to be said? Does it have to do with the moon, with the universe, the earth? What does it have to do with, what is it that makes spirits manifest, show themselves, or at least let, let us know that you're here? What do humans have to do to get that response that we request? Can you activate one of these devices for me to let, you, let me know that you're here? You can touch that REM pod. On the other side of the room is that flashlight. It's a good ways away from me. You feel free. You should be able to feel safe enough to touch that over there. If you do turn that flashlight on, let's say that that's going to stand for the answer yes, and leaving it off or turning it off means no. I'm going to ask you a series of questions. Feel free to use that flashlight or this REM pod to answer me. That's a trailer or that's a trailer going by on the road, a tractor, tractor trailer or a truck, one or the other. Are you here often? Turn the flashlight on for yes, leave it off for no. Please. I'm not here to harm you, I just want to talk to you. And I can't talk to you unless you activate one of these devices so I know that you're present. There's a lot of traffic outside.
everyone's done their individual investigations and it's all been so quiet. The whole building is quiet right now. Can you make a sound? You have tons of equipment up here, tons of electronic equipment that you could use to gain power to make a noise, to manifest, to speak to me, to knock something over. Anything that would get my attention. We've investigated in the auditorium right out there several times, but never in here. Do you enjoy human company? Turn on the flashlight if you do. Was that you? Can you, t can you tap again? That was my phone. Do you enjoy being in the cultural center? Okay, I just heard a knock out in the auditorium. If that's you out in the auditorium, can you do that again, please? But louder? Turn on the flashlight if you enjoy being dead. Turn on the flashlight if you would rather be or enjoy being alive more. It may be the only answer you give me, but turn on the flashlight if you want me to get out of the sound room. If you answer that and turn on the flashlight by telling me yes, I'll get my stuff and I'll leave. Is there anything you'd like to say to anybody? Past family members, friends, 
Would you like to say anything about this building? To the director, Kathy Davis? Anybody at all? That was a pop above my head to the left. One last chance. Can you do anything to let me know that you're here? All the other floors and places we've been tonight, we've gotten absolutely nothing. Hopefully you spoke into this recorder and said something to me, and I'll hear you whenever I listen this back. And if you did, I really appreciate it. Hopefully you'll stick around tonight and talk to us some more. <laughs>